I need it. I need it. So close to just beating my ass. I need it. First try in like months. I need it. 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 You're bothering Marshy. I need it. I'm sorry, Marshy. I didn't mean to wake up this sleeping baby. Roar! Oh, I'm okay, guys. <laughs>you're all having good happy days full of wiggles and sunshine going through the decision of where we're moving uh, for the first time has been a really significant one for us to fun it up we thought it would be a great idea to film the entire process hope you guys enjoy our Georgian adventure before we were able to leave though we had a few things we had to do first I slopped my lazy bod out of bed and admired my sweet, sleeping buddy, Roar. Then, I fake stretch yawned like they do in opening scenes of movies. Here, I am putting nourishment into my hole so I can keep living. Yum. I took care of some work, and then our adventure was a go. What? Hope you enjoy the journey. What? What are you doing there? That's my seat. Th that's mine. That's mine. What are you doing there? It's my seat. I was gone for two seconds and you take my seat. Do you want to do the work? Do you want to do the work? <laughs> oh jeez, you're the cutest doggy. And you, Marshy. So we're taking a spontaneous trip to Georgia, Atlanta, Athens area. We've never been before. So we're trying to find out where he's going for law school and where we're moving. And we're down to Chicago or Georgia. So that's why we're taking like a marshy that's why we're taking this impromptu trip i love just like spontaneous things like this we're going to georgia i can maybe eat a peach probably not i don't think it's the right time of year for peaches but i'm so excited it's gonna be so much fun it's fun just randomly going somewhere but we were in maine this summer my family and rob and everyone we go there every year i filmed it before but i think i put it on private i'm not sure um and this summer when we went, Rob and I worked on a, a United States map puzzle and we got every single piece. It was like a couple thousand pieces. It was like a big puzzle and it was brand new. It's still in Maine now. We keep puzzles up there, but there was one piece that was missing at the end and we, could ne we couldn't find it. And just yesterday, Rob came up to me. He was going through a bag. I don't know how this happened, but he found the missing puzzle piece this teeny little piece from this huge puzzle and the piece was of Georgia. <laughs> what are the odds of that? If that's not a sign, I don't know what is. I've been hearing Georgia everywhere, so I'm just like, I'm feeling it. Now the wind's blowing, it's like, go, go to Georgia. I'm feeling it, I'm so excited. So this trip is gonna be great to see if we like it and what it's all about. And We've been to Chicago a bunch of times. I really love Chicago, that was like, I wanted to be there for sure. But then I thought about it more. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully this is a good thing and we love it. We could finally get this goddamn decision made and get moving with our lives. So I'm excited to take you along with us right when he's done taking this poo. <laughs> you got your treat? Check. Marshy, you got your treat? Check. Here you go. Look at that fluffy head. Laura, got your treat? Check. Everybody's tummies are accounted for. Bye guys! We love you so much! We'll be home really soon! You make this way worse when you stand there all cute staring at me. Love you guys!
to the hotel after like two plus hours of traffic getting here for no reason. So we're really tired and we're gonna go night night. But I'm super excited for tomorrow and seeing Georgia. Yeah. And Atlanta. And Athens. And University. It'll mm -hmm. be great. Bedtime. We just woke up, had our hotel breakfast. We're here doing it. <laughs> You're just smiling at the back. I've been talking about shaving my head bald and just this alone makes me just not want to do it. What do you think, Rob? Should I think I... your hair always looks great. No, you're wrong. <laughs> it's so friggin' thick. I think you look good bald. I should go f***ing bald. Wear all different kinds of wigs. Ooh, yeah. I could get a tattoo on my head. That'd be sweet. You get a tattoo of hair on your head. Uh, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna check out one of the places we're thinking about moving if we come here. We're gonna go to Atlanta, Athens, um, University of Georgia. So we're gonna do a lot of stuff today. Pack it all in. Pack it in. Pack it in, Rob. Is that how you pack it in? Yeah, I guess. I go. Pack it all in my ass. <laughs> Me too. Every time I put this on, you're always driving. I've done zero driving. We just checked out some apartments that we were looking at online and I don't know, I get so excited and like I'll go see it and I'm so pumped I don't think about anything else and I'm just excited about the apartments. They were so nice. I'm so excited. Did you like, would, is that where you would want to go or would you want to keep looking? Yeah, they looked really nice. You can, uh, I would just want, I really just want to check out like one place today. I don't know if we have time to check out a bunch of other places, but that place looked really nice. I loved it. It just felt really good. Maybe just because the weather's so nice here. It felt so good. I, I don't know. The place was so open and so big. There's a little sunroom, which is perfect. I loved it. We got to ride around in a golf cart. <laughs> that was awesome. That might have been what made my day. <laughs> yeah, I didn't expect that at all. <laughs> Me neither. Yeah, so now we're off to downtown of the area we're looking at. So far, so good. perfect day to come down. Like it's so blue. I can't believe how hot it is. I am just like a sweaty pig on my own, but it is really hot. So it's like double the sweat. We're about to eat there on that rooftop bar. Really? That's crazy. That's the song from the Crystalia podcast. I think 50 Cent just came out with an so if you look at my boobs, we love Kent and Ohio where we came from. I'm so pumped. This is just like it. This is so much like it. I'm loving it. Do you like it? I love it here. Yeah? Yeah, I'm really feeling the vibe. <laughs> it's hard to make the decision when you're actually at the place. Yeah, it seems so nice. It seems so nice. And I bet if we went to Chicago, we'd be like, oh, this. Yeah. I'm feeling it. I'm I feeling it. I do like this. it here. So far, I'd say this trip has been an A+. Mm-hmm. Me too. Got my spike, got my wob. Look how cool this is. It's kind of scared at first. It's pretty high up, but this is neat. Got a lay of the land. Oh. So cool. We annihilated that big ass pretzel. Big old butt. Big old pretzel. Big tank or not, it's not even that big. They shouldn't be. 
Hi. Hi. So I wish I was a mermaid. Oh, look at him go. Oh, oh hi. Wow. The music's changing like that. <laughs> Bye, buddy. Hope you find your dad. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Whale Shark. Uh, we just finished the aquarium, which he was all excited about. Whale sharks. Did you like the whale sharks, I love buddy? Whale sharks. I made a new friend. <laughs> so he saw the whale sharks. That was good, except you shouldn't go on a Saturday. Busy. To a place like that, just kids everywhere screaming, pushing, but it was still good. And now we're in the Ferris wheel, taking a look at the city from up high. It's toasty here compared to Ohio and Kentucky. I already got my farmer's tan, sunburn going in like a couple hours. Look at that crap! Oh my god, but. What can you do? I'm so high up. It's beautiful. I'm so high, dude. <laughs> so we scoured looking for something to eat. We found an Irish bar and grill pub thing. I told Rob <laughs> I expected everyone in here to also have a sunburn with our Irish skin, but no, just me. We've got yummy food. Yum. I have yummy lobster bisque. Yum. I have yummy lobster bisque too. Are you excited to check out downtown Athens? I have too much gas. I know you do, Rob. All you fucking do is fart. I have too much gas. But I am excited to check out downtown Athens. That gets me all gassed up. Yeah, you just had the wiggles from all your gas. I don't have wiggles. I have jiggles. I also got... It chills because of this body burn. This ouchy body burn. This looks exactly like Kent, but bigger. You having fun? Yeah! Woo! This is seriously one of the cutest bathrooms I've. Like, look at it. They're lollipops. There's free lollipops here. So yeah, I'm in the bathroom. I'm shit at filming in public. It's scary. I love like going out and having fun and stuff like that. But I feel like whenever I do, especially in a college town, like going to bars and stuff, I'm just thinking about Kent and like my friends from when I was in school and all the bars there and the scene there and comparing it. So I'm trying really hard to be in it and try and love this. So we're doing what you do after you drink. <laughs> we're getting some pizza. Athens, Athens Ohio, Athens no. Georgia. <laughs> it's crazy, sidebar, how many people we talked to while we were here, right? Talked to quite a few people, friendly I, people in Georgia. Yeah, I feel like everyone's really friendly, and I I thought that about Kentucky at first, but I don't know. I feel like we talked to so many people on like a more personal level while we were here. Rob's, are you excited that I say that? Yeah, I'm very excited. To say, I'm trying to listen to this guy call out our number. I can't hear it, but you you want to come here. I do want to come here. Union. Bro. We were just talking about meeting people and stuff. I just met another person from Ohio and I'm loving this. He's loving that pizza. Oh. Yeah, I feel that. I just don't want to wake up tomorrow. I've been so tired that... Do you think I look more like someone who drank too much or someone who just got a bad sunburn? You look like a... Uh... Or look like I, a middle-aged woman. Or do I look like I'm gonna rob a bank, but in like a cute, happy way? I guess we could go with that one. Yeah, yeah. sure. 
Maybe I will. We're going out to. <laughs> I sound like. <laughs> <laughs> we're going out to check. We're going to check out the university, and then we're going home. Here we come. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Making the long drive home. The way here, there were like two hours added just because of traffic. So far we've had to stop one time. I don't know, we're both pretty tired. But we got this. Let's do it. Right now we're driving through uh, the Chattahoochee National Forest in Georgia on our way back. Desperately trying to stay awake. Yeah. Uh, there's Maggie. Hi, here I am. Yeah, I like this place. I, uh, I worked here a couple summers ago. When I worked at the uh, American Conservation Experience, it was cool. We uh, we got to do a lot of good things in the area. We uh, just cleared out some rivers, built some campsites. Uh, somewhere around here, I think they like had part of like the Summer Olympics or something back in like the 80s. I'm not sure. You have to look it up somewhere in like some river around here in like northern Georgia. At least that's what they were telling us when we were working on it. Uh, yeah, and so we were helping to clear it out. Incidentally, that is the hottest I have ever been in my entire life. Uh, sitting down at the bottom of a riverbed while the baking sun is just pouring in on you from every direction. It's like 100% humidity. You never told me that. We're the thinking whole about time. moving here. I told you that literally the other day. About here? Yeah, when you asked me, I told you I remember like being in Georgia those two weeks. Yeah, what did you think of it? Yeah, you it was hot and humid, but you didn't make like fluff it up as much as you did there. Like, well, I'm fluffing it up because I'm on the goddamn camera. <laughs> Breathe first. Okay. We were in. <laughs> we were in the gas station, and there was no. <laughs> there was no toilet paper in the bathroom. So then I asked the guy, um, "Excuse me, there's no toilet paper." And he went, "God, <laughs> you gotta be kidding me!" <laughs> All mad, and he stormed in and was slamming. And he didn't say anything. He just marched back to behind the register all pissed <laughs> and I like, yeah. was giggling about it already because he was so mad there's no toilet paper and then I really had to take a dump but I didn't because I was scared <laughs> and I, he was this gigantic guy with all these tattoos and he looked furious and then I, I bought some stuff just because I felt bad I inconvenienced him I guess and <laughs> I was just going <laughs> <laughs> I was like trying not to laugh because I kept thinking about him. He was so mad. He was just like <laughs> glaring at, just furious. I was stumbling trying to get in my car and I couldn't. I was laughing too much. I was just going, <clears throat> trying to think of like mom dying or like my worst nightmares. So I couldn't. And then all of a sudden at the end, I just ended up laughing so hard. It just broke. And then I couldn't look at him. And then <laughs> I was just like, something's funny. <laughs> And there was this big board to the side. He was like ready to kill everyone in there, furious. And there's this board to the side that says in rainbow letters, did you know that a baby octopus is about the size of a flea? <laughs> and he was just standing there <laughs> wanting everyone dead. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you see his face? Yeah, he looked pretty pissed. <laughs> He had these big tattoos and I was literally like spasming, turning all red, like twitching. I'm like, this, he's going to ask me if I'm dying, but he's probably pumped that I'm dying because he's so mad at me for needing toilet paper. 
I couldn't stop laughing. Okay, I keep thinking about that guy. I feel like I could barf. That was the funniest thing ever. Oh my god. It's me, it's my valley. Visit my valley. Who wants to see my valley? Bob, do you want to see my valley? Sure. Okay, when we get home. Getting pretty close now. I think we're uh, I think we're about to be in Kentucky. Just kind of want to wrap things up with saying, you know, how we felt about the journey overall. Uh, if you don't remember, we were going down there. Try and get a Sorry, feel. I remember the gas station guy. Yeah. I was thinking I shouldn't be laughing and I thought of something that made me laugh. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, we were trying to get a feel for Georgia, Atlanta area. I liked it. I think I, I had a pretty good time. There's definitely some pretty big differences between like the area that we would be living in, uh, Atlanta, and uh, where we would be going. I'd be going to school at in Athens. Athens, I really liked. Athens really reminded me of where I went to college at uh, Kent Stable. Me and Maggie. It reminded me a lot of there and everything that I loved about Kent. Yeah, we had a lot of fun at some of the bars in Athens, but honestly, a lot of the time I found myself just kind of like missing my friends. You yeah, know? that happens whenever you move, but it's, I don't know, it's especially weird going from a college town to another college town, but we already did college. It'll be normal for you when you start. Yeah, yeah, hopefully. hopefully. Campus was beautiful though. Downtown area was like nice. It was like big, I but not too big. I like yeah, it was nice. It was a lot of cool, like little shops. I had some good, good impressions overall of Georgia. I'd say. Yeah, I liked it. I liked um, where we looked at places a lot. I liked that whole area. I liked Athens. I don't know. I would. I we'll probably go there. I liked it. I just like. I don't know. I've always wanted to move to Chicago. I just feel really good when I'm there. But then we couldn't get as nice of a place. I just. I don't know. I feel like that the answer is obvious, but it's just hard to accept and make it definite. I want or to make it like this is what we're doing. Yeah, it's a tough to choice to, to make. Forever. Yeah, that's part of it. You know, we always kind of wanted to go to Chicago, and you know, like the choice is important, which puts a lot of pressure on it. And there's that much pressure on a choice, it makes it kind of feel like there is no right choice. Like, there's so many different ways that it could like be screwed up that you kind of convince yourself that there is no right choice. But then you realize that the only wrong choice is to make no choice at all. Yep, that's true. And once you kind of make the choice and you're in it, I think you find a way to love it. You know, I think if, as long as we were like, as long as we're with each other, and especially if we're living in a like an apartment that we like, where we'll be spending a lot of our time anyway, I think we'll find a way to be happy. Yep, I think we both know what the choice is going to be. Especially if we can get a dog. There might yeah. be a doggo in our near future. Yeah. Incoming doggo. That's going to be weird. I don't want to replace my roar. Oh, I wish I get jealous. roar with me. She's my baby. Oh, we can't separate roar and marshy. It's